Back in the mid-90s, when I was in middle school, our school's main computer lab was filled with those all-in-one Power Macs. You know, the ones that everyone would call Power PCs. These computers would run a program over the Mac OS called At Ease. At Ease was supposed to put parents' and teachers' minds at ease because you couldn't do anything on the computer except launch the programs that the teacher or parents added to the At Ease program. Well, it was supposed to work that way anyways. Back at home, I had a Performa 6220 and had messed around with the At Ease a bit in my free time. I figured out that you could just pull up the programmer's interrupt box and type the good old gfinder or gfin command and gain full access to the Mac OS on any of the school's computers. This was cool because after teaching this to a couple of my delinquent friends, we terrorized the computer lab. With a few of the Macs, we went into the system folder and moved the finder out of there. After a reboot, the computer wouldn't boot up anymore and it was freaking hilarious. The teachers didn't really know anything about computers either, so it was good as fried to them. <laughs> Another thing we did was install games on the computers. Of course, being 12, 13 year olds, we wanted to play something edgy, funny, something that would probably have no place being in a 7th grader's computer lab. This was Happy Weed. I had downloaded it a while before, played it a bit, and thought it was funny. We put this on all the computers we could because, well, we didn't have much or maybe enough supervision. So we played a ton of this game and it lived on the computers for the rest of the year. It was great, but when we came back for 8th grade the following year, the computer lab was filled with a bunch of cheap old Windows PCs. So what is this Happy Weed game? Happy Weed was created by Christopher B. Council in around 1993. The game is essentially a weed-inspired Pac-Man type game. It does have some differences from the Pac-Man that you and me know, such as how the game's power-ups or what the game calls super drugs don't get activated right when you walk over them like they do in Pac-Man. You can actually collect and use these super drugs more strategically than you would in a normal Pac-Man game. This is important because some of these levels are designed in a way that isn't really fair to the player such as dead ends and other seemingly random level designs. And speaking of the levels, there are a ton of them. Of course, I didn't try out all these, but the game has a choose game button on the main screen, which lets you choose a game set from one to 1,000. I've never made it very far into each level set, so I can't tell you for sure how many levels there actually are in the game, but there are a lot. Not not enough or not not too many, a good amount. So the goal in this game is pretty simple. Collect all the cannabis leaves and make your way to the exit. The guys who chase you in Happy Weed are called CPs. No, not child predators, campus police. Ooh, these guys are a bunch of bastards, or at least programmed to be. I'm not really a fan of the AI programming in this game. I just feel like they're too precise with the way the levels are designed. In normal Pac-Man, a lot of the time the ghosts are more relaxed, with the exception of Blinky. It's good design because you're not always on your toes, and at times you feel like you can have a bit of freedom. Not with Happy Weed though, these damn CPs are all Blinkies. Couple that with the bad level design and the fact that I'm supposed to be high while I play this. There are so many times when these guys are completely unavoidable. If you run out of drugs, it sucks, like being bankrupt. <laughs> The game's controls are a simple up, down, left, right, and power-up buttons that are customizable in the title screen. However, I gotta say the game's movement doesn't work well. You can tell the game's underlining design was with grid-based movement, which means that when you actually hit towards a direction, you'll move all the way to the next cell in the grid and you'll have to fully commit to each step you take in the game. No quick turning around like with Pac-Man, and I just don't like the way it feels, again, with the precise movement of the CPs. I need to move quick and be able to back out of tough spots. The speed of this game is pretty maddening also. While there is an option to set the speed of the game, here I am playing on the slowest speed, and when I use a super drug, the game gets too fast to effectively control my character. Every setting is too fast, and when you progress through the levels, they gradually get faster to increase the challenge. This might be okay if you're playing this game on an even older Mac, something from the 68K era, but I'm not, and in fact I never have. Throttling would have helped this game immensely, but it never had anything effective implemented. Nothing that I've seen anyways. If I try playing this game on an even faster setting than passed out, the slowest setting, it's impossible. Check out the middle speed. I need a hit. Aw, oh, shit. Aw, oh, shit. Or better yet, the fastest speed. Tripping hard. 
Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. <laughs> There's no chance. Graphically, this game is... It's alright. I'm not sure if this is original artwork or if it's just been lifted from somewhere. It's kind of a messy mix of rudimentary paint program artwork and somewhat decent skulls, joints, and buds. I like the title screen's pot leaf guy, but again, I don't know if that's original artwork. What absolutely aren't original are the sound effects. The few this game have are sampled from what I assume are movies. Oh shit. I recognize Pee Wee Herman, but let me know in the comments if you know where the others are from. So overall, do I think Happy Weed is a good game? No, not really. There are some things about it that really, really piss me off. But overall, it's probably a pretty average or sub-average shareware Pac-Man game, in my opinion. It pretty overwhelmingly runs with the whole weed and drugs theme for its appeal. But was it appealing? Absolutely. Back in the day, cannabis was much more taboo than it is today, and playing the game as a kid gave me tons of laughs. It was funny, and there weren't many games like this back then. It had a good following too, well enough to spawn conversations online and even happyweed2.com, a website created for a fan sequel of the original. This one plays a lot closer to the traditional Pac-Man, and is probably a better game in my opinion. Happy Weed isn't dead though. The author tried to release this game on iOS, but sadly it didn't make it through Apple's review process. Happy Weed was then rebranded and released as Happy Cat. The story of which is a little different than Happy Weed and goes, as one of the best catnip growers in Catland, your agricultural products have won numerous awards and you have many loyal fans. But trouble is brewing. The local government recently made catnip illegal and have established the Catnip Enforcement Agency, the CEA. The CEA agents have taken an interest in your farm and they're lying in wait among the plants. Your object is to harvest all the catnip on each level before the CEA agents catch you. <laughs> It sounds like a fun game, and checking out the game's Facebook page, they seem to have some fans and a following. Or did. I might just be too late to the party here. So late that when I downloaded the game to try it out, it doesn't work anymore. I could do this tutorial level, but the game won't let me go on to the next level. It sucks because it seems like this might have been the better version of Happy Weed that I wanted. Ah well. Sky High Games! Fix Happy Cat! And fix your website! Thanks! And have a smoky day! Every day!